This is an investigation of the force between electric charges. Electrical forces are of enormous importance in nature. On the atomic scale, they far outweigh any gravitational forces. Electric forces hold atoms together and make steel wires strong. They also hold atoms apart and make, for example, water difficult to compress. I have here a tube which I'm filling quite full of water and a piston which fits and will fall, just fits, it will fall slowly like that. It just fits. Now put this down on a squashy rubber sponge, let go and give it a sharp crack with a mallet. Water is practically incompressible. In fact, electric forces hold the parts of atoms together, electrons and nuclei. If you want to understand atomic physics and really make much of the models of atomic structure that we use, you've got to know the law of force between electric charges. Scientists enjoy finding a law of force, not just for information, but because it adds to their general sense of understanding nature. It appeals to their sense of simplicity and reduces one more mystery to some form of law and order. We are going to investigate a universal law of force between electric charges. At small distances, electric forces compete well with gravity. Turn on my charging arrangement, please. Give a charge to the balloon. Collect a like charge on my balloon. They repel. At closer approach, more, bigger force. Now, farther away, less force, still farther, very little force. Now give an opposite charge, and I get a crash. What is the exact relationship between force and distance? You probably know already. Coulomb's law says force varies inversely as the square of the distance between the charges. That means that at twice the distance apart, the forces are a quarter as big, and at ten times the distance, they drop to a hundredth. 